Welcome to the Quokka Quilts, Quilt As You Go for your motion quilt along. We are up to row 5 and this block is the freeform feather. This is one of my favourite blocks because you can fill up a fair bit of space quite easily. You can also possibly hear my dog snoring in the background so if you can hear some ambient noise that's what it is. I'm going to start from the bottom left corner this time and I'm going to draw not a very curvy line, just a slightly curvy line to give us some shape. And I'm going to make a loop at the end. Come back here. Before I go any further, I'll just say that if you're planning this quilt for a show, there's better ways of doing it. But this is the way that's working for me to learn with, and it's the easiest one at the moment. So I've finished my loop, and I'm going to go back up that loop, and I'm going to go around, and I'm going to continue down. You see how I'm curving slightly in towards the stem? I'm going to go a bit further down the stem and then I'm curving out and coming up to a loop at the top and now am I stuck? Nope, I'm going to go back over the top so I've got a double line here and I'm coming down coming down a bit further than I need to branching out for the next feather and back in over the top around out and I'm just going to speed up a little bit here just to give you the idea so you don't get totally bored with me there we go and I've got to the end now I suppose the clever way to do it would, which I didn't do when I was sewing it would be to go back up the middle and go out like that I started again from the bottom instead of going back up to the top you can do it whichever way you like um, I found starting from the bottom was sort of easier to gain the idea of where my feathers were, but I think with a bit of practice, I guess it just depends which way your brain works. So whichever one works for you. Almost done with our feathers. Down, loop, out. And now the next thing I did was I just echo, uh, no I didn't echo, I did like a second layer of feather, like the top of a peacock feather around each one and I didn't go over the edge and you'll see on my block that mine's a bit smaller and I didn't go right to the edge of the block. So there we go. Did an extra lump on the end of each. Such a nice weird lump. And then I echoed. And I echoed. Got into a corner, straight along the back and I echoed each, each curve quite closely there and then I cut off and went back and went down here so that's how you do your free motion feathers now I might just go over those lines again in a different colour so you can see what I did. So I went up and around, round and down, round, round, down, round the top, down, down further, around the top, down further, round the top, down further, round the top. And I'm deliberately not following my lines this time, so you can see that some of the feathers have got double stitching and others don't. Double stitching, oops, <laughs> single, double, single, double, single, and you don't really see that very much. And here's the finished block. As I said, I went up to the top, around the top, and I did one side, And then when I got to the bottom, I went back out from there. But you could go back all the way out the middle and around the top again. I hope you enjoy these feathers. <laughs>